Hey guys, welcome to The Wraps Drinking with the Stars. I'm your host, Greg Gilman, and today I'm drinking at Maya in West Hollywood with Tommy Dewey, the star of uh, Hulu's new comedy series, Casual. There's some real stuff going. There's some real There's no human to it. Yeah. stuff going on in there. But I like this guy. Well, then you shouldn't have texted him six times and done his laundry. Well, that's what sold me on it. But aside from the Jason Reitman factor, who's mm -hmm. one of my favorite directors, who's what executive out there. producer, executive producer, did the first two episodes, uh, and then was around for the, and has remained very involved, uh, you know, in the post-production process and all that stuff. Episode one, yeah, there's that moment where you walk out and you see your niece having sex in a hot tub, yeah. which is <laughs> every uncle's worst nightmare. I mean, terrible. So what's going on in the character's head there? And, and, and then how does Tommy react to that situation? I react with horror, uh, you know, like a loud scream and I, I'll call 911 or something. Um, or, you know, have the guy arrested. I think Alex, when you, when you meet him, Alex is, is my character, he's sort of checked out for his own good. It's implied that he tried to, uh, had a, had a um, kind of half-hearted suicide attempt before the, the series starts. So he's, you know, he's sort of disengaged out of self-protection. He's, uh, you know, uses his own dating site to, to get laid as much as he can. Do you think the guys at eHarmony and, and Plenty of Fish and Tinder are doing this? I mean, it makes sense. I don't know these guys. I can't speak for them. But or why gals. would you not? Um, right, Bumble is a, is a gal, right? Bumble? I don't is know it? Bumble. How many dating websites are there? Thousands? I don't know, and I'm on none of them. I will say I'm too scared yeah? of getting murdered. I was, you know, the only guy on set that was not involved in online dating. So you, oh, really? You could turn to a grip and be like, what's Tinder like? And he'd be like, let me tell you, man. <laughs> Tinder's crazy, bro. <laughs> you know, because um, that's how grips talk. <laughs> what was just like the most awkward thing you've ever experienced on a date? Someone I split up with um, bring me back all the groceries I had left at her house. <laughs> I don't want your half-eaten butter. She your brought yogurts. an apple. She brought some peanut butter back, and um, and I called my brother to say that was weird. You know, such and such brought these groceries back to my house. I mean, it's also kind of thoughtful too. It was kind of thoughtful, but I was eating one of the apples when I was on the phone with my brother, and he was like, you're not eating any of that, are you? <laughs> and I was like, blah, you know. So um, I wasn't poisoned. She wasn't that cruel. What is your worst rejection? What is the worst you've ever been rejected? I met someone and had looked her up on Instagram and was showing her to a buddy of mine, and he's a jerk, so he instantly follows her for my account, which, if, if I had been calm about it, would, would not have been a big deal. Yeah. We, were, we had been texting, me and this girl, I'm trying to play it cool and all that stuff. But I immediately unfollow, then refollow, and I'm like, oh, no. Okay, so what do I do? If she has any record of this, and uh, she never texted me back. There was no, no oh. text, no so she So she noticed then? So she saw something going on, <laughs> that this schizophrenic guy is following and unfollowing you. She saw that you, were, you did not know what you wanted in life. She's like, I can't be with a guy who doesn't know what he wants. Well, it, it, she saw that I definitely wasn't cool. <laughs> um, that, was, that was for sure. All right, Tommy, thank you so much Cheers. for joining me. Guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Drinking with the Stars. Uh, check out Casual every Wednesday on Hulu. There's three episodes on right now. It's great, I promise you. Please, please do it.